checking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lights here, we're back with another video and I wanted to talk about Zen today and address whether I'm still bullish on Zen. Um, well, the thing is with Zen is that um, Jack Levin, the founder of Zen, his attention seems to be a lot more on Bitcoin ordinals uh, and VMPX. This is his new favorite token, okay? This is the token that he created, VMPX. It is a BRC20 token, okay? And it's listed on a bunch of exchanges. He's continuously talking about this token. Okay, guys, it's sitting at 16 million market cap. And um, it's going up. Okay, Jack, Jack is promoting this. And um, of course he should because it's his token, right? Um, but Zen, meanwhile, Zen is dropping and has been ever since the 20th or the 19th of April. Okay, and... One of the things that puzzled me uh, with Zen is that, you know, when it first came out, it was, uh, there was only Zen, okay? And then we saw a lot of other things coming out in support of Zen. I thought, okay, that's bullish. Zen was highly inflationary, okay, which is not so bullish, but um, it was decentralization. It was fair launch. It was a community project. You can mint it for free and so on, okay? But um, off the back of that, what happened is a lot of people who... We're able to take advantage of the opportunity. A lot of people who were ahead of the game were able to mint, batch mint a bunch of tokens. This is before ZNFTs. This is before uh, people like myself were familiar with batch minting and all that kind of technical stuff. Okay, guys. So those people made a lot of money. And uh, this is where we see all of this selling, um, all of this selling down. Okay. And um, this huge dump all the way down. Okay, guys, and then people like myself, I did mint from day one, okay, but that is not worth much at all, okay? I mean, people, people like myself, a lot of people coming into the game and um, buying these lows and getting this huge pump, okay? And that was a huge pump. I think it was about 10x. Let's just uh, do a measured move, okay? From the lows, we have an approximate 10x, okay? Uh, ever since then, it's been coming down. Now, again, what confuses me about zen is that jack levin is his attention is just all over the place there's a new token every couple of weeks or every month right and he seems very interested or or highly promotional on the vmpx token but not only that he came out with the whole announcement about there being uh, soon uh, there was soon going to be an a blockchain an x1 blockchain but the X1 blockchain was going to have its own token called the XN token. Now, that confused me because I was just thinking, why not use Zen as the gas token on the X or the Zen blockchain? Okay. Now, Zen, obviously, is not, is, 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 is on a bunch of chains. You've got Zen on Ethereum. You've got Zen on Avalanche, Zen on Binance, Zen on Phantom, Zen on Evmos, Zen now on Pulse Chain, um, Zen on... Uh, you know, OKX chain, Zen on a bunch of chains, okay? And they're not correlated. They are all their own token. You have B Zen, A Zen, um, P Zen, M Zen, uh, and, and all sorts, right? So they're not correlated. So all the capital that's going into these tokens, it doesn't benefit the Zen token on its own because they have their own liquidity pools and they're completely different tokens. They're, they have different names. They have different pools. And they're on different chains and they are completely different to the original zen which is what we're looking at right now so that has really robbed the original zen the one that people were most excited about at the beginning the only one that there was at the time that's really robbed a lot of potential capital coming into this token and a potential adoption for this particular token as an ecosystem yes um as a community yes it has grown however all of that focus is kind of spread around to the, all these different tokens. A lot of people don't want to buy the Ethereum one because of gas gas fees. Um, so they want to buy the Binance one. A lot of people don't want to buy the Binance one because they just don't like Binance Smart Chain. They want to buy the Avalanche one. A lot of people don't want to buy the Avalanche one because this and that. And there's a bunch of reasons why people have their favorites. Mine being Zen on the Ethereum network, like I've always said in my videos. Okay, guys. And then with the X1 blockchain, right? So... Now, 
I don't understand because with the X1 blockchain now, it kind of makes the Zen token, I don't know if I can say insignificant because um, I saw a tweet about something about Zen, um, you burning Zen, burning Zen to get the XN token. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, people are going to be getting rid of Zen. The only use case or utility that's going to be for it is burning it to get into other tokens. A lot of tokens that have been created um, uh, uh, to thrive from the burn, or, or sorry, a lot of tokens that have been created to support Zen. Um, Zen has been burnt to get into those tokens. Those tokens have failed. And then you get Zen, which is ultimately not pumping now off the back of these burns because a lot of people are burning Zen to get in it. They're minting it for free anyway and they're not buying it because it's highly volatile and so on. Okay, guys. So there's a lot of confusion for me in this particular ecosystem. There's a lot of confusion for me about where the future of Zen is or lies. Okay. Uh, especially in this phase. And I understand that most of the market is down anyway, but the point I'm making is Jack Levins, this is not his baby. Or well, it is his baby, but he's got loads of babies now. So, so, so VMPX being one of them, and no doubt the XN token is going to be the next one. So, you know, the XN token is going to be a layer one blockchain, X1. Uh, sorry, XN token for the X1 blockchain. So does the focus then move from Zen? And from VMPX, I never bought VMPX, okay? I know that Jack is a big, he's a Bitcoin bull, so it would make sense that, you know, when um, um, BRC20 became available for people to kind of build on it, he was always going to jump on that. It's just unfortunate for us that it's stolen his attention away from the Zen token. He, he might disagree. Many of you in the comments might disagree that that's not even the case. It's just the way I view it. And why I've not been making videos about Zen and why I've not been buying Zen. I actually sold my Zen. Okay. Could have sold the top. Didn't. Okay. Unfortunately. But it is the way it is what it is. Right. But I am still a participant in the Zen ecosystem. I still have mints that I'm waiting for uh, to mature. I still have a bunch of Zen FTs. But um, I'm not as bullish on Zen as I was once upon a time. Which is why. And this is crypto at the end of the day. Things change all of the time. Um, teams make promises all the time that don't deliver. Um, at the end of the day, I'm a community member. And um, yeah, I was bullish, super bullish on Zen at one point. Now it's just not clear to me where the future lies in it. I'm not saying it's not going to perform. It's not going to do well. It's just not, it's just not, the, the focus has been shifted. Okay. And um, me personally, I'm investing in the person. And the person no doubt has skill. Jack Levin, no doubt, is a brain, but um, yeah, his brain is in too many places for me right now, and it just takes the hype away for me personally. So that's basically why I've not been talking about Zen um, too much at all, and um, the price is clearly coming down. I was very enthusiastic about the price up here, and um, you know, this to me is normal. It is normal that the price has come down at the end of the day. This could double bottom and then, you know, go sideways or pump straight away or uh, it can do anything. OK, guys, but um, me personally, I'm I may buy I may buy some. OK, just for the sake of it. OK, I can get my bag back for a lot. Uh, sorry, I can get my bag back for a lot less than what I sold it for. Let's put it that way. But um, yeah, ultimately, I'm waiting for my three mints to come in and, um, you know, maybe we'll burn that um hold on to some of it um and see what it's worth one day okay because at the end of the day the market's not looking great anyway and um it probably won't hurt me it's three minutes it probably wouldn't hurt to hold it until the end of the next bull run but um there's just so much there, there's so many other things being built which kind of tempts you to burn it anyway i mean it doesn't tempt you to hold on to it okay guys so I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. I just thought I made that video because, um, you know, many of you did uh, join and, and subscribe to the channel just based on Zen. You know, many of you have heard me talk about Zen. You're probably wondering why I haven't been talking about Zen. That's really all I can say about it. So that's really all I've got for you for now, guys. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tip the little bell for notifications. Always still looking for the next gem, the next banger, the next 100x, 1000x, 10,000x. So uh, let's find it together, guys. Let me know in the comments. 
uh, what you think about this and I'll see you in the next video.